All right, we're talking about area. Area is different than perimeter. You remember, perimeter is the distance around a figure. Area is really the distance inside of a figure. So it's the amount of surface a figure covers. Um, important to understand with area, we, we have a look here at a rectangle. And um, the rectangle is, is 7 feet by 4 feet. So what we do to figure out the area of it is just multiply the base and height. So 7 times 4. And we get 28 feet squared. The reason that I say it's feet squared is if we were to slice this up into little boxes, you can see I've done that here, we'd have 28 little square feet inside of this rectangle. In other words, each square would be one foot by one foot. And there'd be 28 inside of them. So we call them feet squared. Um, and you can see here, too, if I, if I multiplied 7 times 4, it's really 7 feet times 4 feet. So you can think about those feet being to the second power. Uh, this next shape is a square. It's the same formula, actually. We could do base times height. We could also do another one that I'm going to show you. But uh, you can see the square has tickle marks here. So because these sides are all the same, instead of saying base times height, a fancy way of saying this is to say the side squared, the side times itself. So we do 9 times 9, not 9 times 2, right? 9 to the second power means 9 times 9. And we get 81 inches squared. And it's important that you don't write that like this, 81. No, we have the inches over there, the two tickle marks. We don't want to put 81 inches squared like that because that looks like 81 to the 112th power. Um, the next slide here, we have a little problem solving here. A rectangle has an area of 630 feet squared. If the height is 70 feet, then what would be the base? So. Our area is 630, so we're going to put 630 in for the A. And then we have the base would be, well, we don't know the base. They're saying the height 70. If you mixed up those two, by the way, wouldn't make any difference since uh, multiplication is commutative, meaning that it doesn't matter if we make 70B or 70H. We're still going to get the same answer in the end. So we'll do 70 times B, though, since they did tell us to find the base. And now we have an equation. You have an equal sign here. That means it's an equation. And we've got a variable of b and the multiplication sign. So to undo multiplication, we need to do division. So I divide by 70 on this side. Those cancel out. I divide by 70 over here by 630. And you can see these zeros are actually going to be knocked off. And we have 63 divided by 7. That is 9. And it's going to be 9 feet, and that equals the base. Just to be sure, though, good idea to check your work. You have 9 feet. If you multiply that 9 feet times 70 feet, would you get 630 feet? You sure would. 9 times 7 63. We pop a zero on the end of it. It's 630 feet squared. So that's a good way to check your work there. Um, finally, we have this last one. This is another word problem, thingy problem here. So... We have Christopher is going to mow a rectangular yard that is 20 feet by 20 feet as shown below. There is a water fountain in the middle of it that is 7 feet by 12 feet. How much of the lawn does he need to mow? So there's a look at the lawn. You can see it's 20 feet by 20 feet on the outside, but the whole lawn is not that. I, I'm going to call this the yard, this square here, um, and I'm going to consider the fountain to be part of the yard, and the green part I'm going to call the lawn. Um, and then the blue part, of course, we're going to call the fountain. So the way we do this is, is kind of a couple-step problem. The first thing I need to do is figure out the, the area that the whole yard takes up. So to do that, we can do side squared or base times height. I use base times height. So we have a yard and a fountain. So the yard here is base times height 20 times 20 and 400 feet squared. And then the fountain would be base times height, 7 times 12, and 84 feet squared, as you can see here in the picture. So to figure out the, um, I guess, the lawn part here, we would do the yard minus the fountain, which is 400 feet squared, right, all the way inside of it, and then 84 feet squared in the fountain. If we subtract, we should get 316 feet squared.